Hello, new with a bit shedthemetal.com here. It is Sunday the 20th of December 2020 and today we'll take a look at Parallax from, from the good old days. Before we do that, if I may make the usual opening plea for a favour and that's that you subscribe to the channel, that'd be a big help and most appreciated. All right, Parallax. Here's another one from, from back in the good old original new wave of British heavy metal days that promised much but didn't work out for them. And uh, they, they really were excellent, excellent band from, from back then. And if you listen to any of the stuff, and I hope you do, and I hope you pick this up, you, you'll realise that th th these boys were just as good as anybody else around back then. Uh, it's it's a mystery why why they never made it, but they didn't. And all all they did manage back back then was a, a three track EP, and and that was it. However, uh, a few years ago, the, the the some ex members of the band got back together to re-record that EP and some some other stuff from back then as well and that's seen the light of day on key to a thousand doors it came out 2016 I think it was and it, it's really proper stuff it, it really is you know they, 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 they demonstrate to a T just how good they, they were and, and should have been and uh, you know the, the songwriting abilities that they had re really stand out for me from from the majority of most of the people that were around back then. It's not just turn it up to eleven, play as fast as I can, and then try and play a little bit faster. Sure, the the, the riffage that go on that, that's going on here is is pretty brutal in in parts, but it's it's also wide in its range from that brutality to some chopping and slashing stuff, machine gun fast to slow sometimes or all, sometimes as well all, all within one song you know variety is something that parallax certainly had in in all their stuff the twin guitars are first class really smoking stuff that each, each one of them trade off each other churning out the riffs and the power chords and the solos it, it's it's phenomenal stuff the first three tracks on key to a thousand doors are that old white lightning three track ep which is uh, a little bit raw and that's okay but it just shows what what talent they had back then and, and that that ep as good as it was couldn't break them and then contrast that to the re-recorded versions of that that ep which follow it excellent excellent stuff and then the re-recorded demos are, are, are even better check out in particular the, the really rat-a-tat-tat machine gun style of dogfight you know you, you can see the planes meandering around skies trying to do each other down in your mind's eye it, it conjures up that that kind of image I, sp I suppose if you want to compare it to anything think iron maiden's ace is high but i prefer dogfight lionheart and is another highlight really huge song as is rock the force uh, hard as anything with a real anthemic feel to it as well real fist pumping stuff we are not the first is all all riffs and solos from from all directions and, and you know the question being asked what wh where are we on earth first or not who knows right a killer song on an album of killers is justice it's about six minutes of everything drums while singing chunky bass playing going on that the guitars are all over it as usual the extended instrumental introduction a monster monster central riff which peeps coming back and back and back again solos all over the places wow right um well, what, what else can I say? Other than that the real highlight on all of this for me is an accompanying DVD with Parallax. So it doesn't last long. It's Parallax performing only four songs from the matched box size Nottingham Boat Club in 1981. Marvellous. Marvellous. Uh, it's a little bit cheesy. And I mean, like the, the stage moves are... Um, in inverted commas, spontaneous, or are they? Re really cheesy stuff. Uh, it, it's pure spinal tap, but it's about the music, isn't it? And that is phenomenal. I mean, ju just watch it, watch it and see the ability that's being displayed here and ignore the cheesy stage moves. Surely in that matchbox size venue, if there are any A&R types in there, why weren't they forming a queue with a contract and a pen? Who knows, but they didn't. Never mind, Parallax, might not have enjoyed any success back in the early 80s and, and you know the new wave of bitch heavy metal days.
but key to a thousand doors just shows how good they were and, and showed it could have been particularly that dvd excellent um check it out if you'd like to i hope you do it, it really is marvelous stuff as always there's a link below in the description to the album on amazon and a link back to the blog post on the website if, if you'd like to check out that as well i really hope you do because parallax should have been something special um anyway as always thanks for watching thanks for listening take care oh and please subscribe to the channel before you go if you haven't already all right thanks a lot